Hey everybody, it's Jordan with Modular Head Shop. So this morning I was getting my assembly table uh, ready and I noticed that there was an imperfection in, uh, in the piston so I thought it would be a good opportunity uh, to make a video on some 5.4 specific pistons. I do a lot of 5.4 specific uh, engines and rotating assemblies and also what the imperfection was in the piston. We'll go over um, some rod bearings as well. So um, first off, this is how I have my assembly bench. Um, every time I put an engine together, anybody that knows me knows I am as picky as it gets with this. But this is how no mistakes are made. You lay out all your rings, all your pistons, have them in the right orientation, all your connecting rods, all your bearings. You have the opportunity to count all your piston pins. So if you're missing one when you get to the end, you don't have to go back. This is, um, it really helps on like double spiral locks where it's kind of hard to see if you have one or two in there. If you already have all the pistons in, now you got to pull them all back out just to double check. Um, so, to start off, I have the pistons laid out, and I, and I have them laid out, pistons and rods, one, two, three, four, five. So, you know, one through four is going to be passenger, the right side. Five through eight is going to be the driver, which is the left side. However, I have the left, what's labeled as the left piston, for number one. Now that is the imperfection. So if you were doing this at home and if you've put together a small block before, you might think, okay, front left is right. Front left, right? Intakes leading, valve release are here like a Windsor or LS. Incorrect. The two valve PI head, the valve reliefs are on the outside. So this is labeled front left, but in reality, it's just a front right. If you flip it over, it's correct. The intake valve leads, it's on the correct side, and most importantly, is the wrist pin is offset. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I'll see if she can focus in a little bit. Okay, the wrist pin is offset, the opposite of the crankshaft rotation. This is key. So what we could do, is take the piston that's labeled right and it too would lead with the intake valve and the exhaust valve. It would also be on the right side, it would just be oriented wrong. However, you can see that the pin offset is this way. Now, for the pin, those of you that are not familiar with the wrist pin offsets, the wrist pin offset is done to take some leverage off the thrust side of the skirt, which is this side. It is always the left. Um, it doesn't matter what bank. And so you'll see some of the sport compact uh, pistons when they try to get real light, they'll even make the non-thrust side skirt a little smaller. Um, so that is it for the orientation. Uh, I will go over these pistons as well. This is a 5.4 obviously. These are 5.4 specific pistons. They have an enormous dish, and that is because they are a zero deck design. So the factory pistons sit around 120 thousandths in the hole with a shallower dish. In my opinion, that's not the way to do it. If you are going to go through the trouble of building a short block, build it correctly. Bring the compression distance of the piston up to it's closer to the top of the deck. That will enhance the quench. Uh, unless you're shooting a 500 shot of nitrous or 40 pounds of boost, you do not need to take that much quench out of, uh, out of the engine, especially on a performance application. So I've never put together a 5.4 with standard 4.6 pistons. They've always been uh, between 1.315 and 1.330 compression distance. I believe these are 1.320. These are a 39cc dish from JE. This is a shelf piston. And if you have a pump gas lightning setup, this is a great this is a great piston. Uh, there's no need to go much higher in the compression ratio if you're going to run pump gas. But um, raising the dome or raising the crown of the piston will help with combustion efficiency and flame travel. You're also getting the top ring a little bit closer, which will help as well. And it gives you a little bit more spacing here to get the ring spaced up. So. All in all, this is the correct setup for a 5.4. Um, 
It just happened that the pistons were labeled upside down. So the last thing I want to touch on is connecting rod bearings and their orientation with some of the rods that we use. So here's the K1 H beam. This is the same rod as the Monar uh, standard weight. Um, so the one thing, these rods are great as well. Um, but the one thing is that <clears throat> it doesn't matter on a standard 5.4 crankshaft, but if you had an aftermarket crank like a bit like a Sonny Bryant or a Winberg billet, it's more than likely going to have a radius uh, journal. So the connecting rods come machined two different ways. Flat for a thrust side, that's where they're going to be touching each other on the same journal. And then chamfered, and the chamfer is to clear the radius on the rod throw. So it's always going to be on the outside of the rod journal. So the bearings we use are the CB1442 HN from Clevite. They have an upper and a lower, and that is so they are scooted over more towards the thrust side to allow for more radius clearance. However, if you put these in correctly, which would be the upper on the upper, this is the upper portion of the rod. I don't even need to show you the lower. You can see right here. It's really close to the chamfer and very far away from the thrust face. That is not correct. What should have happened is this tank should have been on this side or the chamfer should be on the other side. Again, I just want to stress that while this does, you know, this is not very important for the engine I'm working on today, I do everything the same way so there's no mistakes made when it does count. And I encourage everybody else to do it. So now we will take the lower and put the lower on the upper. Okay. And now it's much closer to the thrust face, but not too close. And you have an additional clearance here on the side of the rod. So if you have a 4.6 and you're using a Manly or an Eagle crankshaft, you better be putting the lower bearing on this side of the rod if you have a K1 or a Molnar rod. Um, either that or when you go to check the side clearance, which I hope you do, you're not going to have any. So, um, I hope this helps some of y'all. I know the piston thing is super confusing. Just remember the two valve. The valves are angled way differently from any Windsor application or any small block application. So, the valve reliefs are here. And if you have offset pins, they always go the opposite direction of the crankshaft rotation. Thanks. Have a great day. Check out our website for some badass gear.